still gonna be in the yams. I'm still gonna be in the yams, going crazy. Like, period. I passed out. After I cleaned and I ate some food, I passed out. I passed out. I was talking to one of my niggas. Yeah, I passed out. So, I'm sorry I did not come back on the vlog. I'm doing my best to try to vlog. I'm really trying, for real. Um, I hope you guys like my montage. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a morning montage too, but... The way that my mornings be set up lately, like, I haven't been waking up early enough to really play around with nobody's camera. Um, I've been waking up with just enough time to get to work and, like, it's crazy. But how are you? I'm so sorry that this vlog is kind of out of order. I feel like it would just look better like this. I'm still learning how to vlog, so just bear with me. Okay. Um, and that I will never be returning to. I never went here before August, and I was unfortunately booked for the whole month of August. Um, and if you don't know, if you're new here, I'm T. Hey, um, I am a traveling hygienist. I've been a hygienist for six years. I've had full-time jobs, nine to fives, but I hate it. And I'm an entrepreneur, so the best thing for me to do with this type of energy is to basically work for myself so the way I work for myself is I I just temp so I work off a W2 and 1099 as a contractor and I go to whatever dental offices need me that's how I work um, I like it better this way I know some people might think it's like really crazy to do it like this and it's like how are you surviving and all these things but it's like I don't know I guess God got me of course but I feel like I just I'm just such a good hygienist that they request me to go different places all the time um, and then you also know that everybody need money right now there is a shortage don't nobody want to work and if they work and they working from home they changing their careers damn um, they not honking me um, people really realizing they worth, you know. So, anyway, I'm on my way over there now. I'm actually late. It's like something with me, like, once I have it in my mind that it's over, I, my energy is very low for it. Like, like, if school is ending, if I'm ending an assignment that I do not like, I stop caring. Like I'm still, I'm still gonna do the bare minimum, but I'm, I stop caring. Like I don't care no more. I'm not trying to be in this bitch. So, um, I'm late. I should actually call him and tell him I'm gonna be late. Um, and I mean, I honestly don't give a fuck. You know, when I'm there, I do a good job. Other than that, I honestly don't give a fuck. So. Let's call them and tell them that we pulling up late. Right to the pound key. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Hi, good morning. This is T, the hygienist. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm going to be like a few minutes late. So if anything, you could guys... Okay. Get my patients seated and take X-rays if they need to, and I'll be I'll be there shortly. Yeah, some your traffic. Is just gonna be a cleaning. You just got here. Okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna be. I probably won't get there till like eight twenty because of traffic. Okay, no problem. I'll let them know. Okay. My bitch. I'm good. <laughs> you good? I'm good. You good? We good. You good? Like, nah, you good? So let me tell you why I didn't like this office, okay? I'm trying not to talk all about hygiene on this channel. Um, 
so I've been trying to just vlog and like not talk about this but this is part of my life so anyway um this office they be playing themselves um I got there you know thinking this is gonna be cool cause it's from 8 to 5 it all started when they wanted me to come to work at like 7 20 every morning for the first like two or three days and i'm just like mind you i'm only working there tuesday wednesday so i'm like why y'all need me there so early if patience is not seen till eight like it take literally maybe 10 minutes to show me the whole office and show me what the instruments are like what so anyway so get there they got this whole militant thing they want to do. They want to sit down. They want to talk about hygiene. They want to talk about the schedule. They want to talk about how they how they do it. I'm like... Y'all serious right now? Like, y'all dead ass. Oh, yeah. Y'all dead ass. Like, it's really not that serious. Like, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for six years. I've been doing temp hygiene most of my career like just let let me show y'all how I do it y'all show me how y'all do it and let me do how I do it so they go on and on about that I came in those two days early the doctor is like 65 years old so he don't even do his um he don't even do anything right like I'm showing him this teeth that's loose on, on patients. He like, oh, it's okay. We can watch it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you even plan it. Oh, that tooth has a large decay. It needs a crown. Oh, I'll put a filling. I'm like, all right. You just being lazy, you old. You think that it's okay? That's not okay? And we call those kinds of doctors watching see dentists And... The problem with that is watch and see dentists just watch and see. And they wait till you're in pain or it's disrupting your life to do any work to it. So, I don't like dentistry like that. I want, I'm here to treat the patients. If, if not anything about the fucking money, I'm here to take care of the patients. So, if I feel like you're not giving the standard of care that I made an oath to, I don't want to work with you or for you. That's just how I feel. Okay, especially if you're the dentist. Hey, Mister Girls, I'm so sorry about how choppy this vlog is right now. It's just random clips of me throughout the week, but um, this is me setting up my tray for a profi, which is a regular mouth cleaning, healthy mouth cleaning. And then the next video is going to show you me actually um, finishing up an SRP, a deeper cleaning for periodontal disease. Um, showing you my the nitrous that's a nitrous um, nose piece and then the actual bag that the nitrous gas comes out of um, showing you the laser the laser is used to um, keratage the tissue and also to flush out the gums after we've done a cleaning and that is what we call the I forgot what that's called but it's like an isolate it just helps to isolate and keep everything dry while we do a cleaning so I just want to show you all that, so I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. For improving people's lives, helping other people, you know, being a a great person in society in terms of adding to the world. You know, like how are you adding to the world? You could want all these things, want all this money, and God or whoever you pray to will give it to you. But are you doing those things out of the kindness of your heart? Like what do you want those things for, you know? And I feel like that's where I'm at. Like, now I know I want to improve people's lives. I want to help people. I want to inspire them. And me having money will make me more comfortable. But I have to have a purpose to make that money. Because I can make that money all day. But can I keep it? Can I maintain it? Do I have the mindset to maintain it? Can I handle... You know, can I handle the ups and downs of entrepreneurship, of business, of being a busy businesswoman? Can I handle those things? And I feel like that's what God is preparing me for right now. Like, God is preparing me for the next steps, the next phases, you know? Like, I still want to live in Miami. I still want to live in a high-rise condo, 
condo in Miami. My life is giving very much um, Sex in the City, Carrie, you know, um, Carrie Bradshaw, <laughs> you know, Joan from Girlfriends, you know, like that's what my life is giving. It's not giving, um, you know, Family Matters, Proud Family, you know, I don't see myself having kids. I never really liked kids as a kid. I don't like doing homework. Um, y'all seem very uncomfortable during pregnancy. Y'all seem very upset when y'all have to make decisions for your child because your child made a bad decision for themselves. Um, <clears throat> kids ain't for me. But anyway, I just, I just really want to look back at this vlog and just say in this conversation I'm having and just say like, wow, like, Two years ago, this is what I was thinking. Five years ago, this is what I was thinking. Ten years ago, this is what I was living, you know. And be able to look back on the positive actions I'm putting out in the world and the positive energy I'm putting out there and praying that I help somebody out there, I inspire somebody, that someone inspires me, that I continue to grow and elevate as a person. Um, I continue to be, like, better emotionally. I continue to be healthier, you know, like, that my family's healthy, that we're all healthy, that we're all okay, and we just do well, you know. We continue to grow. We continue to progress, and um, that I continue to mature. I never stop wanting to learn. I never stop wanting to grow. I never stop wanting love for myself and love for my, my loved ones in the world and just being better, like, you know, like, I plan to travel the world. I plan to, you know... Make lots of money, yeah, but also spend it with amazing people. Because you can have all this money and just not be happy. Um, have all this money and not have anybody to spend this time with. Because I could travel the world, but who coming with me? Who am I spending that time with while I'm traveling around the world? You know? Um, I could have this nice-ass house, this nice-ass apartment, these nice cars and shit. Who am I spending that time with? We need human interaction, you know? So... I'm, I'm praying for that man. I know he's somewhere growing and changing and elevating and working on himself too. Because even if I don't have no kids, I still want me in a good. I still want me in a good. <laughs> even if he's not my husband and we just Oprah and Stedman in it out. <laughs> that's that's what I want to do. Okay? Me and him, that's, that's my man, my man, my man. Like, you know. Um. So, that's, that's all I was thinking about today. I have a therapy session at 4 o'clock today. I do my therapy through Zoom. Um, and I've been doing that for about six months now. And I feel like it's improved my, my mental health. It's improved my, my, my spiritual health. Um, it's improved my daily life. I would suggest anyone go see, seek therapy. Just to not necessarily be like... Not, not for just fixing yourself. Because it's just about, like, doing better as a person, you know? Like, doing better as a person. You don't even realize, like, what you're going through. And, like, that could affect you every day. You know, we, we get so many things that attack us from left and right, you know? Um, so many things from our past that we haven't gotten over that might not be bad things. It's just, like, affect us today. And we don't even realize how it is. Um, so, yeah, I deal with anxiety and depression and I just truly need to stop overthinking, start stressing about the future, stop stressing about money, stop stressing about successful career and all of that. Um, I need to be able to stay grounded and stay in the space that I'm in. So I really focus on knowing today's date so I can stay focused on today um, and what I, the task I have to complete today. Um, today's Friday, August 26th. It is 12.02. I actually need to go back to work. But, um, yeah, I just, I just wanted to come on here and just say some things because that was on my heart and uh, it's crazy. Okay. Hey, <laughs> I know for the last time y'all saw me, I was at work. I was on my break, but that was yesterday. Was that yesterday? I don't know. But today is Saturday, August 27th. And I, it's about, it's about 11.50 in the morning. 
I took on my hair out and everything. So now my twist that I have from my dreads are out. And it's just time to wash my hair. I have not washed my hair, felt my hair in like months, like maybe three months now, two months. And last night after I took the braids out, my um my best friend sister helped me. After I took the braids out, I just put um some shampoo in it and I put the leave-in conditioner and then I put one of these caps on my head because I don't have shower caps, I just have these because I have um I have a esthetician spa, so I have all these things like this. Um coming soon. I'm gonna reopen soon and do facials and all that. But I do teeth whitening right now. Anyway, so I put the conditioner in my hair. So this is my real hair. This is what my hair real, real hair look like. Um you can see my curl pattern is pretty popping. I just, it's just too much to do every morning. That's why I wear wigs and braids and like protective styles or whatever. So anyway, so I have this leave-in conditioner in right now. I am going to detangle it um, and get in the shower, wash it. Um, I'm so mad though because I don't know if y'all can see. I don't know where it is right now, but like there's this hair right here. See how much shorter that hair is right there? This hair is shorter because I cut it by accident while I was trying to take these dreads out. Because the lady that was supposed to take my dreads out that did the dreads, she had like no availability for like a month. And I just was like, I need these out my head. I miss my bust down middle part. I want my wigs back. Like I was so mad. But anyway, so I'm going to get ready. My, one of my friends is supposed to come over. Um, she loves doing hair, so she's coming to do my wig for me. Um, if not, she's just going to cornrow my hair for me, so at least I can do my wig myself. Because, yeah, I'm one of those girlies that don't know how to cornrow. So, yeah, don't, don't fight me in the comments. But, yeah, so if you care to know, I have about like 4B, 4C hair. Um, my hair is really soft. But it is very thick and very curly. So I use the Taraji P um, Taraji P line of all of her products. Um, but I mostly use this shampoo by Camille Rose. You can get this from Target. Um, and I use the one that says cash oil and anise seed oil. And it's a cleansing rinse. So this is actually shampoo. And it has a nozzle on it. So I like that. So I just go like in between like that. So I do that, and then I use Siraji P's conditioner, leave-in conditioner. It's called Mask On. All her products are at Target. So if you want to buy her, her products, you can buy them online, but she has them at Target. So I just use that, and I love it. I've been doing that for, like, probably since the pandemic started because I didn't know what I was doing with my hair before. And once the pandemic happened, we was forced to do our hair, so... I was like, I need to do a better job. Um, but I do not, um, I don't do any natural styles because I just don't, I'm not that girl. Like, I love my hair. I love myself. I love everything about me. Um, there's some things I wish I could work on that I am working on, but I do not like, I do not like doing natural hair in the morning. My hair gets dry. My hair does not like to be manipulated. My hair likes to be left alone. So I just wash my hair once a month, twice a month, whatever. Um, get my ends clipped when I need to get my ends clipped. Keep it moisturized and all of that. So if you guys care to know like what other products I use on my hair, it's not a lot because I don't really do my hair. But if you want to know the other products I use, I'll show you guys. And if you want to know, I'll leave them in the comments. Per. So anyway, I'm going to get ready because my friend's going to be here in like 30 minutes and I still need to blow dry my hair and detangle it. And that's going to take at least another 45 minutes. And she's supposed to be here at 12.30 and it's 11.53. So I need to hurry up. So I'm going to go get in the shower. I can't really show you guys that part because I have the other tripod in here. And I don't really feel like doing all of that. So. Let's <laughs> see
thinking about me at night. I wish it. So this is my hair washed. No blow dryer or anything. I just lightly towel dried it a little bit. Um, so my best friend is coming. Well, one of my good friends, my homegirl. She's coming to do my hair. She wants to do wigs professionally. Um, she works a regular full-time job right now. But she be really doing good with my wigs. So she likes to practice with me. And I let her because, I mean, I still pay her. And we still have a transaction. But... I'm, I'm all for helping people, you know, with their passions and their hobbies and all that, as long as they want to do it themselves, you know? Like, nothing's wrong with that. So, right now, I'm putting, um, my Yelly, oh, I'm putting my Yelly leave-in conditioner. It's the pomegranate and honey one, the pink one. Um, it says moisturizing curl primer and detangler for thick curly type 4 hair. So, I've never used this on my natural hair, like my whole head. I only used it on my weave because um, I got this recently, probably two months ago. I got this when I went to Essence Fest. If you watch my TikToks, if you're from TikTok, hey boo. Um, but if you're not, then please go follow me on TikTok. I am way more frequent on there than I am on YouTube. Um, anyway, so I'm putting this on my hair. Um, you, I, you see, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing because... I'm trying to put it in small sections, but I'm lazy. So I'm just putting this through my hair so my hair has some type of moisturization. Um, so she could blow dry it for me. So she wants to practice blow drying it straight. She gonna cornrow me, give me my Meek Millies, get these Meek Millies going so she could put my wig on for me. And she does a pretty good job with my wig, so I'm excited. It's like, it's nothing like getting your wigs done and you just feel like mad pretty. Like, it's it's like, I like my natural hair too, but the way that, y'all know what I mean. Like, whether you do wigs, braids, tapings, extensions, that one hairstyle, you know that it just make you feel like a bad bitch. Like, that's how wigs make me feel like. Sometimes I don't post content because my hair don't be done. <laughs> that's really why I don't be posting content. And I know that really has nothing to do with anything. Because I don't mind you guys seeing me like this. It's just like, we all know people are attracted to. People are attracted to clean, cut, you know, really nice looking energy, aesthetic, pleasing, you know, type shit. So, I don't always post when I, I don't post. Because most of the time, my wig do not be secure underneath them damn secure um, surgical caps I wear at work. And I work four to six days a week. I'm not doing my hair if I'm wearing those caps, you know? Um, so that's one downfall about dental hygiene. Like, you don't end up having that freedom you have with, like, hairstyles and stuff like that. Like, somebody with, like, a stay-at-home job or, like, a, a work-from-home job or, like, someone who works in a different setting where you can do your hair. Like, healthcare, they don't even want us having nails. They don't want us having earrings. But, you know, it just depends on the company you work for and whatever you're doing that won't be as strict but honestly they kind of like I had a moment when I was like really upset because I felt like my identity was stripped for a second you know like I feel like my identity was stripped and um especially in hygiene school because you're not allowed to have your hair off your on your shoulder like your hair has to be pulled back um we have to wear um, surgical casts. We have to wear gowns. We have to have a certain color scrubs. We couldn't wear certain color socks. We only had to wear white socks. Our shoes had to be white. Um, you had to speak a certain way. You had to be very professional. Like, And it's like now I'm out of school. I've been out of school for six years, but I still have moments when I I, I was, I'm going to say raised, but look, look at this show here. I'm so mad I cut this. Don't take your braids out yourself, please. Don't do it. Shit like this happens. Look look at this little ass hair. I'm just glad it's not in the front. But, what the? Anyway. Yeah, hygiene can be that kind of thing where it's like, y'all stripping me of my identity, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't like it. That's why I do my best to still do my nails, even if they have to be short. Or whatever it is um i still take time to do my lashes i still i still take care of myself and make myself feel pretty or beautiful or ma maintained because without it this whole kid shit will make you be a boy like i could go to work just like this and it's okay because 
they're not expecting you to look cute. Like, we're not in an environment to look cute. We're getting blood, saliva, body fluids on us. We, you know, think we can't have our hair down because obviously it's going to be laying all over the patient. Like, so the only time we get to be cute is when we want to take a picture, be an influencer real quick, like, or, you know, when I'm going out on the weekend or if I'm going out after work, which I don't do because I'd be so fucking tired. But I'm telling myself going forward in 2023, like, I'm really going to start grinding, like, and, like, like, I'm already grinding right now. Let me not say to start grinding. I've been grinding, been grinding. But I want to really start, like, getting on top of enjoying my time here in Orlando because I keep saying, oh, Orlando's back, Orlando's back, I want to move. But I haven't actually taken the time to see, well, I'm not going to say haven't, but I need to take more time to see what Orlando has to offer me, you know? So anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. I'm going to wait till my, um, my friend gets here and I'm just going to, I'm going to do like a montage and just like put music behind it and show y'all her blow drying my hair. And then, um... I'm gonna be editing on iMovie, so yeah, I know how that go. <laughs> so yeah, so if anything, um, I'll just do a montage, and if and if she's comfortable allowing me to record our conversation, then I'll put some clips in of us talking. But other than that, like y'all probably just will see the stages of my hair being done, and then after that, I don't really have no other plans today. So in a Saturday, that's sad. Um, but I went out last weekend and the weekend before that, so I'm kind of like, okay if I stay in the house. Um, but I don't know, you know how when you get your head on how you be feeling? <laughs> I be feeling like I'm about to side. I'm going to go with somebody's son, like, you know, so I'm like, um, we'll see. Anyway, let me, uh, wash this product out of my hand and I'll show y'all what I'm doing. August 29th you be haters on this internet shit so I'm not trying to get caught up and end up having a strike on my license or something like that because somebody wants to be a hater and report me 
or you know make a speculation on something that's not even like that like i was just trying to teach y'all or show somebody something they haven't seen before you know um so i'm sorry if i can't really show y'all me working and me in the dental office too much um i know that on my tiktok i really do try to sneak <laughs> sometimes not sneak but i kind of show y'all how i'll be going about um like cleaning my room and like putting away the instruments and stuff like that but I can't show you me treating a patient I can't show you like my notes and stuff like that like you know but anyway I want to start getting into like try on hauls and like you know showing y'all things I'm buying for my house and just like Amazon hauls and just like all the cutesy shit like traveling vlogs you know so I'm working on that um, right now, I just been really focused on like myself and my health in general. Like my mental health is very important to me, so I've been focused on that. I've been in therapy for about a year and a half now. I was in therapy before, but like I was, I've been in therapy like consistently now, at least once a week. Um, if not once a week, then twice every two weeks, once every two weeks. And that's really been helping me like manage my anxiety, manage my depression, overcoming anxiety, um, healing from past issues or whatever, which I've spoken about. Um, and so that's been helping. Um, I've been on a spiritual journey, really trying to love on myself, really trying to learn how to be all alone, you know, um, learning how to be happy by myself. You know, I'm single, I have no kids, I don't have a boyfriend. I dibble and dabble with the but I'm not really you know, I'm not out here dating, dating. Like, I might date here and there, but I'm not dating, dating. And, um, yeah, so I've been focused on myself mentally, spiritually. I've been focused on myself, um, you know, financially, too. I've been really trying to pay off this car. Um, I'm so close to paying my car off. Like, I cannot wait to, I can't wait to look back at this vlog and see how much I've grown and how much I've become, how much my channel has grown and just how much mature I'll be and everything, how far I've come in like my career and my business and everything. And just like letting you guys see like, don't stop, keep going, don't give up on yourself. And um, just to see me going from this car, enjoying myself while I'm in this car, but seeing myself go from this car to my dream car, okay? Seeing myself go from where I'm living right now to my dream home, seeing myself working dental hygiene every day to having like full time entrepreneurship, you know, motivational speaking, being in music videos, being the esthetician that I want to be, um, having my spa open, um, doing more mobile bartending events but like doing them for like big accounts and like building a brand like I want to be a brand I am a brand but I'm I can't wait to see how far my brand goes like I'm just so excited like I you know when you just feel like there's a door here and it's cracked open the door is open new doors are opening and then you kind of see like behind you there's a door kind of slightly closed like I'm right in that hallway between like more success and more blessings on this side of the door and then like like a past me that is now grown up that kind of died back there um relationships that i had with people friendships i thought i had that are dead back there like you know old mindsets old thinking you know destructive behavior back there you know so i'm just so happy that i'm like i'm growing i'm maturing as a woman I'm maturing as a person. I'm 28, and um, I know I'm so young to have accomplished the things I have already, but I feel like I have so much more to do. I, I'm no longer thinking that I need to be moving faster like I was. Like, I used to be rushing, like, wow, like, I'm only this much farther, and it's like, only? Nah, you've accomplished a lot. Like, I've been a hygienist for six years, I moved from New York, Queens, New York. That's where I'm from. If you don't know, I'm from Queens, New York. And moved from New York by myself to Orlando, Florida, which I didn't want to live in Orlando. I wanted to live in Miami in a high-rise condo, which I'm still going to do that. <laughs> I'm still going to be, I'm still going to be in the yams. I'm still going to be in the yams going crazy, like period. Um, but anyway, 
you know like I've done a lot so I'm saying all this to say there's sometimes when you just have to step back and look at what you do have look at where you were two years ago look at where you were six months ago and see how much you've grown um, and if you haven't gotten exactly where you want to be yet at least you're getting closer are you getting closer you know that's what you have to ask yourself like are you getting closer am I closer am I doing better you know the things that may have worried you or annoyed you or bothered you have you worked on those things and whatever you didn't work on like is it because you can't control that you know like that is the message I had for myself today I was like wow like I have to accept the things that I cannot change like there's certain things that I just cannot change like I cannot change I cannot change my mom I cannot change my family I cannot change anything about them all I can do is accept them and forgive them and forgive myself there's certain parts of me that I cannot change either but I can strive to change what I can and there's certain things about my surroundings and my environment and my situations that I cannot change there's certain things you just cannot change you can change a job you can change your hair you can change now you can change your body you can change your mindset too but it's up to you to do so but you can't change nothing for nobody else. You can't make them show up for you. You can't make them like you. You can't make people stop hating on you. Um, it's just certain things you cannot change. I can't change certain things. So why be stressed over shit I can't change? I can't change these rent prices going up. I can't change... Um, I can't change half this shit. You know? Like... I can't change inflation. I cannot change having bills every month. I cannot change it. So, what I can do, what I can change, is how much money I make a month. What I can change is how I approach paying bills every month. How I approach adulting, you know? My mindset towards adulting. My mindset towards living every day. Like, am I living to pay bills or am I living to enjoy life and live in the moment and have fun? Live in the moment and have fun. Like, that's what I don't be doing. I be mad serious and mad stressed out and, like, pressed about mad shit. And it's like, girl, you don't even need to be that stressed. You stressing about what? You mad about what now? Like, plus, said, you mad. Like, why you mad? Like, I be so mad. And it don't be over nothing. It just be like, I want to I wanna be there already. I want to be this. I want to be that. I want to be this. I want to be that. And it's like, you don't even need to be doing all that. All the time you spend spending worried about the future, you could have been worried about how blessed you are in this moment and present. So, I'm what I'm doing is showing more gratitude. And trying to show more gratitude. Definitely showing more gratitude towards my future. Um, I don't know if you guys watch Blame on Tay, but she's a YouTuber here. A really big YouTuber. I am so inspired by her. I've been watching her for years. She has really severe depression and she's been managing it so much better over the years and one thing that she suggested in her past blog is scripting basically making sure that when you're writing out your manifestation you're writing it as if it's happening present day i think that's dope i think that's so dope i've done scripting before but i kind of like forgot about it or to start scripting you know and writing out all my dreams aspirations vividly in detail in specific detail like it's happening today so i can work towards those goals i can work towards those goals um they wasn't driving I just... have a positive mindset continue to learn continue to grow if you're not growing you're not living if you're not changing you're not living you know and you can change you can want to change as much as you want but do you really want to change are you embracing change when it does come across your way you know, like, it's, it's just so important to just be a better person every day. I'm, I'm trying to be a better person for me first, first and foremost, first and foremost, I'm trying to be better for me, um, so I can be better for my family, because they're the most important people to me, and I'm, and when I say family, I mean people I care about, so that doesn't even matter if you're related to me or not, um, family, and being better for society, um, being a better person on this earth, spiritually, um, and just walking and moving in the purpose that God and my ancestors have set out for me. Like, am I fulfilling their purpose 
pur purpose is with the nest, you know. Um, but anyway, I'm just, I'm happy. I'm happy I got off work early. <laughs> per big pearl and getting off early. Okay. And, um, yeah, I'm on my way home. I think because I got off early and I have nothing to do really I'm gonna post on my mobile bartending website my website my Instagram and because I have an event coming up in two weeks for that if you don't already follow my um, business pages I'm gonna start being more consistent I mean I kind of have though let me not say it like that Tea on the rocks my mobile bartending I've been consistent but um, my spa aesthetic business is not because I've just been trying to focus on because anyway y'all don't care y'all don't care they say little number where you been at I'm just passing the breeze I've been running up a check that's why these bitches on me I've been cooling land low but I'm not taking the seat but just know a nigga back in this time I won't leave I've been running 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 gotta check me your back I got hundreds on my neck and I got shoes on my ass. Nigga said I'm going broke, well I just take it and laugh. I be speeding in that forum if I go on my ass. But I'm that nigga, I won't never change. Rubbing off the pain, smoking dang. Got a Uzi in my lap, I let it bang. Feel it tight, no, he keep a cake. But he not take care of the chop and let it blow. And watch this bitch eat his face, I'm that nigga. And all my young niggas pulling triggers, we gorillas. We let this bitch off until you feel it. For you niggas, that's always on IG with them yiggies taking pictures. Is you really going? You just loafing for them bitches You niggas really hoes and you be acting like these bitches You niggas say I silent but y'all probably in there snitching Most of the niggas that's around me throwing seeds like they cribbing But they do it for the twins Free little Corey and little Christian But I'm rocking with my shooters and that's mandatory When I'm top like a mozzie bitch I keep it 40 You say I'm lacking nigga try me shoot you in your shorty I'm cooking up in the lab like I'm Rick and Morty 40 papa hit a monster turn your brain to pasta Hit a hopper dread swinging just like I'm a monster Okay. Alexa, pause. Okay. Hey, girl. <laughs> All right, so I'm back. I've been home for a little while. I've probably been home for like two hours. Um, it is 5.24 now. I am home. I'm about to just clean up because I said I was going to clean up this weekend and I didn't. 
and I need to like sweep and like mop and deep clean my living room because I just haven't lately um because me and my best friend we live together we room together um not because we can't afford to live on our own it's just easier and you know like why not have your best friend live with you like we be lit like all we do is work but it's cool to come home to somebody. When I lived by myself, it was mad depressing and lonely. Um, anyway, y'all don't care about that. So, yeah, I was talking about to clean up my living room. Um, I'm going to be very transparent right now about our living situation, kind of. Um, because I just, I kind of want to show y'all, like, show myself later on when I look back at this vlog in three years, four years, five years, ten years. What my living situation was like. And, like, just see how it goes. So, anyway, I'm about to flip the camera. I don't know why I'm, like, kind of embarrassed. Like, I'm, like, I need to look in the camera and not in the viewfinder. I'm, like, kind of embarrassed because we have this stigma with social media to be, like, so aesthetic and perfect. And it's, like, that's not real life. You know, we all are here to live our lives i should be happy that i have a place over my over my head i can lay down and i'm comfortable in but i just i just don't i don't have an aesthetically pleasing apartment right now and it's not the best apartment it's one of the older apartments but the way rent prices is right now we gotta live our life so i'm not mad about it um i'm just a little like to show y'all you know what i mean like it's not the way i want it to be so i kind of don't want to show y'all because it's not perfect it's not the way i want it to be but anyway um let me draw these blinds so y'all don't know where i live at because there's some weirdos out there i don't think everybody is but there are some um i don't want anybody finding out where i live because the, the internet is weird It's weird. People are so weird, you know. But I just have to make. I I'm not gonna give y'all a full tour. Um, I just need to, you know, I need to get this out. I've been wanting to do this. I'm a vlogger now. Period. So anyway, so this is me. So this is me. This is my mirror. This was in my apartment before. Um, my first apartment when I first moved to Florida, I had bought this from Walmart for two fifty, and I dragged it and I put it in my car. So I'm no longer afraid to vlog. So this is me. Um, this is my. I still ain't put pictures in these picture frames. That's how busy I be. Ashtray, my friend made. Um, and then this is my first couch that I ever bought. I bought it for like 350 and I was like, okay, this I'm going to upgrade from this couch. I just need something. It's just me, right? So I bought this couch, bought some, these pillows came with it. They like so flat. Um, and then I bought these pillows and these covers off of Amazon because my last apartment, my theme was black, white, and red. And then I had bought, excuse me, I had bought this rug, which is now like done. This rug is so dirty. Um, I just need to buy a new rug. I don't know if I can revamp it, but that's why, I, um, be, one other reason why we was trying to hire, like, cleaning people, because I wanted to see if I could, like, revive this rug before I throw it away, but then at the same time, I'm so over this color scheme. Anyway, and then this is, um, like, one of those foldable beds, so if anybody comes over and stays over, I or that person can have some place to sleep, so it folds up, and when you unfold it, it's... A cot but it also doubles as seating so um yeah and then my best friend she always had this um bean bag it's amazing she had it for years i don't even know where she got it from but it's very durable that cover comes off i'm gonna wash that that cover um and then this is my tv right there and then i have a printer because i obviously have a computer i need to print and then over there is another picture frame that has no pictures in it and my plant that i love this is a ethos i'm still trying to learn my green thumb so one day last week i overwatered her so yeah i was just i was going crazy with the water so these are some leaves 
if you listen to your plants they tell you what's wrong you know so i have some yellow so i just those actually just fell off so so yeah i actually need to replant her and put some fertilizer get some fertilizing soil but again i'd be mad busy and then this was a plantarium i forgot what this is called but yeah i had like rocks in here and then i had a succulent like one of those little ones from trader joe's it died so now this is just here for decoration <laughs> and um out there is the balcony i'm not gonna show you guys because then you'll be able to know where I've, i live and then over here we had a dining room table um but i sold the dining room table because i felt like it just wasn't necessary we weren't gonna sit at it and then um my best friend wants to make this area her she called it a, a reading corner she wants to put like a bookshelf and like a little smaller or bring the bean bag or oh, bean bag over there and put a shelf where she can like read books or like create a reading corner because she likes reading books and then over here we were gonna put a stripper pole to go up to the ceiling because we have like really high ceilings but I know y'all are probably like, what the fuck is all of this? So this is a lash chair that I bought to start my aesthetic business because I first started off doing teeth whitening and tooth gems. I still do it, but I'm just not consistent with the business. So um, I had a spa shop that I was renting from somebody. It did not work out. So I ended up moving from out of my living room back into my living room after the business situation didn't work out. So this is what all of this stuff is. So this is obviously like the wax pot, the cavity wipes, um, all of the whitening and wax stuff and all that stuff I need is right here. And so is the, um, that's my steamer. My cousins have been so nice and bought me to kind of like jumpstart the business for me. And then all that behind there is like um, carts to carry stuff up the steps and stuff like that. Um, I had bought from Amazon because and these are the whitening lights. That's the stool the pillow whitening pillow and all that so i have bought all of that stuff because i have a mobile bartender business too that i'm trying to be more consistent with um so you know how that go so i have like all of these things i want to do in my life and all these things i want to complete and i just haven't yet and i feel like i'm just all over the place like my apartment is not complete. I feel like my bedroom is not complete. Um, I just need to work on like being more consistent. So I am going to start cleaning. I'm going to do a cleaning montage. Oh, that's my bar back there. Um, all of that, all of that liquor is for the bartending business. So I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> I just love making drinks. I went to bartending school. Um, so I feel like I'm like a jack of all trades. I just need to be more consistent with the trade that I started. So my plan is by the end of 2023, because I'm not going to rush myself, but by the end of the 2023, to be out of debt, have the disposable income to be able to dibble and dabble and play around with money and be able to put towards this esthetician business, but be able to put towards bartending, be able to put towards modeling. If you follow me on TikTok, you already know. I'll be really trying to model. I'll be really trying to get into it you know um so anyway i'm gonna do a montage real quick y'all gonna watch me clean i'm gonna be bumping my music or whatever and yeah we're just gonna go from there i think i'm gonna play the music on the tv because that's just how i feel right now um i'm gonna move this rug i'm gonna vacuum the rug first and then vacuum the floor sweep the floor um we have a mop but I don't really feel like mopping. I might just Swiffer. And because it's not dirty, it's just like I know I need to clean. Like it's getting there, like dusty. So that already vacuumed my bedroom. So I just need to clean my bathroom. And then that's it. I should be good this weekend. Like if I want to lay down, I really could lay down. Like it's not going to be laying down like, damn, I wish I didn't lay down because I have stuff to do. Kind of lay down, if that makes sense. Tell me. I'm just feeling this hair. She does such a fucking good job. Her. Um, this is an old wig that she did. And she actually took the lace off and put... She took the lace off the wig, old wig, 
and bought a new lace and sewed that on. And when I say, like, this shit is laid to them the freaking gods. Like, the baby hairs were super fleeky the day that I finished doing it. I'm going to have to send pictures and everything. And I'll insert them in the video somewhere. Hopefully here. See how I insert pictures right here. Insert pictures and video of the wig right here. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So, I hopefully can put this vlog up by this Friday because then it will make it a weekly vlog. Um, so, I'm trying to start vlogging more. I'm trying to start really be active on this channel. So, yeah. It's okay.